This week, let's discuss structure dictating function for your health and preconception journey. Right now, I currently live in a new community where it's fun to see new houses going up. I'm very interested in how things function, how things work, and it's really cool to see the progress on these houses and watch them pour anything from the cement to doing the roof to adding the drywall. I mean, I just find it super fascinating on how, it, how it's done, <laughs> essentially. And one of the things that they will start with is leveling the ground. That is essential for building that house. If we don't level the ground, the house can potentially be crooked and that wouldn't be great for the foundation and how it's gonna function. So overall, when they're building the houses, they're leveling out the ground, they're pouring the cement, they're building brick by brick until they get to the roof and then they put the roof on. And they don't just start with the roof, they have steps that they have to do and there's different teams that do different parts of the different steps. And when we look at this with our health, it could be very similar um, of how we have to have the essential building blocks. Some of that is going to be our nutrition. Some of that's going to be our thinking. And the different teams that are going to be doing that is going to be our different organs in our body, the different systems that our body has, our heart, our liver, our lungs, eyes, like all those different things will be what is creating health for us. And looking at the house here in Florida, we have cement cinder blocks for it. And it's all about knowing your location as well. We get hurricanes, so we are not going to build our houses with hay and sticks. And, and we have to make sure that it's the proper foundation as well to create that proper structure um, and knowing what environment it's going to be in. So that's what's really cool about being on a health journey is knowing these different things. One of my favorite things to do with the holidays is bake cookies. Over the years, I've learned if you leave out one ingredient, just one, your cookies will definitely turn out different. You will have cookies that are maybe more mushy, or you could have cookies that are less fluffy. You could have very fluffy cookies. Um, you just have different options when you leave out a key ingredient. And similar things can happen for your health and overall well-being as well. When I work with couples on their preconception journey, there are definitely some essential nutrients that I find are so important for the growth of baby. When you figure that most women don't know that they're pregnant until about six to seven, maybe even eight weeks in, there's been so much growth already going on for this little fetus. And a lot of that is gonna be the neural tube. That's the first thing that that forms. From that, we're gonna get the brain and spinal cord. So there can be a lot more what we call midline defects, which is gonna be um, more with your like cleft lips or lip ties, tongue ties, those types of things can also tie into that area when we're not getting the proper nutrients. So it's, it's so important and essential I find for couples that are looking to conceive to work on some key nutrients and key details before they even try to have baby because you don't want to be like too late and be like, well, maybe not too late, but you don't, <laughs> you don't want to be at the point where you realize, oh gosh, I'm pregnant. Now what do I do? It's like an oh crap moment, you know, you don't want one. As a chiropractor, I find just how vital structure dictating function is with the patients I see, or even within my own health, because I do personally get adjusted as well. Chiropractors need to be adjusted. And that always surprises people. So I'm gonna put it out there. We do get adjusted. I personally try to get adjusted weekly if I can. Um, but anyways, what I wanted to say on that topic was when I see patients, when I even see myself with my own health, I am not perfect when it comes to posture. So don't judge me on this. We, I am only human as well. But if I'm sitting at my desk and I'm sitting slouched over or I'm typing on my keypad and I'm not using the best posture that I could, if I sit like this for a couple hours throughout the day, it's definitely gonna affect how my muscles are functioning because my muscles are attaching to that spine. It's gonna affect how the nerves are functioning because those nerves are also attached to, well, they're flowing out, but they're attaching to muscles that are going to dictate some of the functions because those nerves go to different organs. They go to different areas of the body. They go to different muscles throughout the entire body. And when they are pinched, it's gonna cause issues to their function. Um, it's like having a water hose. If I took a water hose and I squeeze it really tight, that water's not going anywhere. Um, you have a kink in it. So that's what can happen to your nerves, which is why structure is so important for your function, for your spine, for your nutrition. There's so many different things that when we look at structure, it all comes down to how is it functioning and how is that structure looking. 
one thing to consider on your journey to health and journey of preconception is it's kind of like a road trip, a really, really long road trip with no end point. And it's about overall health. When we think of going on a road trip, there's a couple of different things that can happen. You can take the scenic route, you can take the direct shot, you could have detours that you didn't know about or didn't plan for. There's so many different things that can happen on a road trip. You might stop and get your a fueling at different locations, then say a friend that maybe started a road trip at the same time. You might go to different restaurants along the way. There is no right or wrong answer on a road trip. There is absolutely no rules to it. You get to you get to decide that. You get to decide to be the hero of your journey on your preconception journey or just journey in general to health. So I am always here to help you on that journey. If you would like a guide, I am happy to help. Please follow along for more tips on health and wellness, uh, preconception, pregnancy, all of those things. And I will see you later. Have a good day.